hospital. And Woody Harrelson's party days apparently are over. Who Lisa standing by with your Hollywood headlines? Yes, that is right. Legendary stoner Woody Harrelson has revealed he has stopped smoking pot. In an interview with Vulture magazine, the actor says uh, he called it quits nearly a year ago, and he explains he just partied too hard for a solid 30 years. Harrelson said he is still a supporter of marijuana, even if he's no longer using it. The actor did say he still drinks alcohol, but in moderation. Iron Man has a new role, and this time he is trading the Avengers to talk to animals. Robert Downey Jr. has signed on to star in the new film, The Voyage of Dr. Doolittle. The actor will be taking on the beast bantering character who first appeared in a series of 1920s children's books. Downey will also produce the new Dr. Doolittle movie. No word on when the film will start production. Fans of the Big Bang Theory, they are in for a treat. The long-running series will be running a little while longer. CBS and Warner Brothers Television announcing a new deal for two more seasons of the show. That means more Sheldon and Leonard and the whole rest of the gang. The Big Bang Theory has seen has been on the air since 2007. It has been television's number one comedy for viewers since 2010. Nicki Minaj has surpassed the queen. Imagine, if you will, there was music there. You saw the dancing. <laughs> it was in my head. <laughs> if I knew the song, I would sing it. <laughs> no. Nicki Minaj is bringing the heat to the music charts. The rapper has uh, three new songs headed for the Billboard Hot 100, including two new collaborations. That gives Miss Minaj a total of 76 career appearances on that chart, topping none other than Aretha Franklin. The diva only had 73 entries on the Hot 100, and she held the record for nearly 40 years. Yeah, I want to know the song. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Back over to you. All right.